Hello Gemini, welcome to your quickie. Before I get started, I just wanted to mention that I have my mid-March extras up. Those are the in-depth readings. So if you're interested at the end of this reading in more, uh, you can uh, look at the rest of my channel for the mid-March extras. They tend to get a little bit lost here at the end of the month in the shuffle of everyone putting up their new readings. So uh, really appreciate you checking those out. Okay, let's take a look here, uh, Gemini. From Shapeshifters, you've pulled Poe's Brave Flight. Here, it's about not letting fear stop you this time. So there's an energy in the past of you perhaps not taking a risk. An element of caution. Wanting to stay in a, a place of safety and security rather than taking a, a risk, being brave, courageous trying a new adventure, maybe even travel involved here. Now as your energy, you've pulled from Destiny's Portal the card of the Spirit of Yule. Now this is a winter-like energy. It's a, a, an energy of bleakness. So whether your situation is bleak or just not as bright as you'd like, the Spirit of Yule suggests that you prepare for and call to you the return of light and joy. So it's, it's very much a Three of Wands kind of energy. It's a feeling here of the law of attraction, what the energy that you're putting out to the universe coming back to you. So if you're putting out an energy of negativity, of fear, of worry, that will come back to you. But if, if you're putting out an energy here of positivity, feeling that things will will be good again in your life after a time of bleakness, then that is what you'll be actively calling forth, that light and joy that will come to you. You can do this in many ways, but I feel for you it's about making plans, making plans for the times ahead. You now it's cyclic, of course, life is cyclic and it's marked by the seasons. And I feel for you the season has been one of, uh, of difficulty, you know, experiencing times of sorrow, but now it's an energy here of a return, wanting the return of joy. That's how I'm feeling, the cycle of life, getting us through our darkest days, coming out the other side, being brave, taking that risk to get that, that back. So let's take a look. I've already meditated on your energy, so I want to take a look. Uh, I want to start first with the, the past energy for Gemini. Okay. We have the moon in reverse. Let's look at the present energy. Oh, two of wands in reverse. Okay. Let's have a look in the near future. Have a look at your advice or your best part to follow. What's happening around you that may be affecting you? Oh, okay. And hopes and fears. Okay, two of pentacles. And the outcome. And let's take a look at your overall energy or what this reading is about. Four of swords in reverse. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at this. Right at the center of this reading, as your overall energy, you have the Four of Swords in reverse. So I do feel that you've spent a time where you've felt alone, isolated, a feeling of withdrawal, but it was a needed withdrawal so that you could get clearer in your mind. I get a healing energy from uh, a disappointment, sadness. So it's, it's spending the, the necessary time in order to, to heal. And it, it's feeling good again. I'm not sure if you're, if you're there yet. I, I feel like it's more about preparations, starting to feel like you can, that things are getting better, starting to feel like you want to come out of your, uh, your, your cave here and, and, uh, and rejoin the world, feeling uh, more positive about, about what's maybe coming towards you. 
In the past, with the moon in reverse, and this pose brave flight i do get a lot of fear anxiety worry that has held you back kept you kept you you withdrawn now i do feel that this is in relation to somebody else around you it could be a fire sign an aries leo or sagittarius male or female who doesn't seem to be too happy at present there is an energy around them of feeling a, a lack of, of their own abilities uh, that they, they have suffered uh, a blow to their, their confidence to their optimism they're not feeling themselves they're feeling down but in the present energy the two of wands in reverse tells me that it's an energy here of, of needing to make a decision of whether to stay in a situation or take a risk take a chance something that uh, towards something that uh, you, you're passionate about uh, excited about getting your enthusiasm back because i do feel with your advice here as your best path to follow the nine of pentacles in reverse it seems to me that there's dissatisfaction you're feeling a general sense of dissatisfaction with your life you, you have security you have uh, money you have somewhere to, to live a comfortable environment around you but there's something missing in the near future with the eight of cups in reverse i do feel like there's a return return to work on something to work things out someone may have left you in the past but there's some hesitation indecision you know this this card speaks about receiving a message an email a text a call does anyone call anyone any, anymore I, I don't even know maybe this is this is this is a call someone actually uh, reaching out but I get hesitation, indecision about whether or not to to answer this call or to ignore this call. I feel it's around this person, this fire sign. Your hopes and fears, the two of pentacles. You know, for you, I feel like uh, you're undecided about whether this is something that you can take on in your life. Is it the right time? Is it the right time to take this on? Because I get for a while you felt like you couldn't do this. There was something that was holding you back. I have it as fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of risk, fear of, of being hurt, feeling pain. But now with the Ten of Wands in reverse, it seems like there's a lessening of a burden. Less, you, You're feeling lighter in spirit. Uh, there's a healing energy around you, uh, Gemini. A healing energy. So let's see, what is that Ten of Wands in reverse? The Fool, lovely. And I do get a Fool energy with this, this Pose Brave Flight as well immediately i start to think throwing caution to the wind taking that risk being very brave and courageous and setting off on a new path lovely that's great energy for you here gemini the knight of wands there's that travel maybe you're being offered a chance to travel uh, to relocate uh, maybe a move home here a return to something uh, from the, the past okay let's get one more and the temperance card okay we've got two cards of Sagittarius there too uh, with the, the wands here this may be could be a Sagittarius but but I get that there's a, a certain amount of risk involved but for you it's a return to being feeling more balanced centered i get that there's compatibility here a good mix of yin and yang recept receptivity and uh, action 
around this uh, around this 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 move this, this risky move it, it, it's yes it's risky but I feel I feel it's you calling in happiness again wanting to be happy feeling that sense of light light lightness with that ten of wands lightness of being lightness of spirit with that fool card and and just doing it taking that risk to, to feel balanced again to to get that positivity that wonderful peaceful energy after some dark times i feel gemini wow returning return this i think this is it seems to me like uh, something coming around again uh, another chance a second chance a third chance something like that gemini hmm. i want to get an energy card for this reading let's get an energy card for this reading what's the energy for this reading for gemini please yin and yang wasn't i just speaking about that wow you know again i get this uh, this powerful energy of balance of balancing each other out a good mix a good mix a mixture but you know in this this season it's very much a, an energy of yin it's like a yin energy that i feel around you which is more about receptivity so what i get is that there's a message something you, that you're receiving you're not going to be certain though you're going to to spend some time thinking thinking about it because i get for you it does involve an element of risk and you have been fearful of risk taking in the past you don't want to do the wrong thing you don't want to bite off more than you can chew for you you want to, to remain grounded balanced balance is important for you and around this queen of wands in reverse it seems like there's something something around them i i, I get some unhappiness uh, not feeling not feeling themselves so it, it could be this person that's reaching out here wanting to get light and joy back in their life to you and for you you're thinking about taking this action but you know the outcome here the outcome seems to be you doing this uh, un, un, an unburdening of, of 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 a difficulty of difficult times and and movement i see movement here towards balance towards peace which is lovely and it seems to be a return of something i get a return of something mm yin and yang balance you know i want to get one more oracle here let's take a look i want to get a wisdom of the oracle for this reading for gemini let's take a reading take a, a look rather at this uh, wisdom of the oracle what is what is the message here for gemini for this reading message for gemini what's the message for gemini thinker yeah that's you and of course that that's stereotypical uh, gemini there uh, very much someone who uses wisdom uh, thinks things through very logically and carefully before doing anything strategy yeah strategy i get plans plans rather than action plans yeah not actually doing something at the moment because i get this is more re receptive energy uh, a time of planning rather than taking action the ability to reason and strategize is the focus now taking things at face value and following the logical path your calculations will prove to be correct things are exactly as they seem so i feel like you can trust your what what is what is here what is at face value what is being uh, uh, communicated to you 
you do have all the information you need to make a choice. So here it's about weighing the pros and cons of a partnership, common ground. And if there is enough common ground, going for it. If not, then there are other fish in the sea. So here it's about having things in common other than desire, other than passion, because those things fade with time. It, it's more about thinking things through, um, doing your, your pros and cons list here, strategizing, thinking things really thinking things through. It's not the time to indulge in fantasy. Uh, it's more about logic and facts, what you know to be true. Calculated action. Sitting down, planning that strategy. Focusing on the steps you're going to take to claim a prosperous life. Yeah, lists. You know, I get actual physical lists. Plans and strategies will, will, will yield wonderful results. Okay, lovely. Now, of course, there's the opposite of that, which is analysis paralysis, but I don't feel it's that. I, I feel it's just you planning a move, planning to get your, your, your happiness back, your, your, your joyful spirit back. And there's compatibility with someone around you, I feel a return to something possibly from the past I feel mm. so thinking things through making plans but not actually taking action yet making plans to do so though okay Gemini I'm gonna leave it there and wish you all the very best if you would like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com and that email is also in the box below don't forget to check out my mid-march in-depth extras on my channel and I will speak to you again very soon for the April readings bye for now Gemini